Hello, I'm Nils. In this video, I'll be talking about an intervention that can reduce our odds of developing both Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. Nothing in this video is intended as or should be taken as medical advice. Dementia is a debilitating condition that robs us of our minds and memories and even our identities as we age. When important contributing cause that is sometimes overlooked is the pollution and contamination of the air that we're breathing. According to an article published by the Stanford Institute for Economic Policy Research, long-term exposure to particulate air pollutants significantly increases our risk of developing dementia. The authors estimate that a 10% increase in exposure over a decade increases the probability of developing Alzheimer's or related dementias by around 8%. For some perspective, this is almost twice as large as the increase in risk associated with having hypertension. The study found that when air quality was improved in the United States with better regulation, the country had 182,000 fewer cases of dementia in a single year. On an individual level, investing in high-quality air purifiers appears to be as essential as exercising, eating high-nutrient diets, getting enough sleep, and taking anti-aging supplements. A genuine HEPA filter will trap microscopic particles of pollution, and a high-quality carbon filter will remove volatile organic compounds such as formaldehyde, which is constantly off-gassing from furniture and carpets. So if you buy an air purifier, you'd want to look for one that has both. Around eight years ago, I was living in a part of Seattle near the intersection of two busy streets. I had bought the house that I was living in mainly because it was a place that I could afford. While I was living there over many years, I had developed some health conditions which I suspected were related to the pollution from the nearby traffic. So I started looking for ways that I could resolve that and what seemed most sensible was actually just moving. So I started a house search, and after several months of searching, I was lucky to find a home in an area with a lot of trees, which are a natural air filter. It also had low traffic, and as a bonus, very low noise pollution. Luckily, I was able to buy the house, and I moved there, and I noticed within a few weeks that my health issues, which had been dragging on me for several years, started improving. I don't know how much of the improvement was because of the lower pollution, but it was likely a strong factor. I also bought some home air purifiers. There are many different brands. I'm sure that there are many that are good. The one that I chose was Winix and I still have several of their air purifiers in my home. I actually also ended up moving one of them out to my car and plugging it into a power strip running to a cigarette lighter insert. There are air conditioners designed for cars, but the ones that I tried were honestly nowhere near as good as the home units. It has been interesting to notice that when I'm driving on the freeway, the sensors in the unit in my car detect a large amount of pollution and kick the fan into high gear. And that also happens any time that my car accelerates rapidly. So in addition to purifying the air in our homes or our cars, advocating for strong laws to protect the quality of the air in our communities strikes me as a good point of focus for those of us who are interested in living longer and healthier lives, not just for ourselves, but for everyone. When I vote, I look for candidates who support and will fight for legislation to reduce air pollution. This video is sponsored by Do Not Age, 
a company which conducts research related to slowing and reversing the aging process. They both conduct their own studies and have funded a number of independent studies. They also sell supplements, which many people in the anti-aging community have started taking. I take several of Do Not Age's supplements, including their NMN, which raises plasma levels of NAD+, a compound that protects our DNA from degradation, CERT-6 activator, a type of fucoidin that activates the sirtuin 6 gene, and several others. Using their discount code is also a way of supporting the work that I'm doing on this channel because they send me a few dollars whenever people use the code. So to wrap up this video, here's a little song. I wrote the lyrics and then I used some software to create the instrumentation and the voices. As years go by, our minds begin to fray. Our memories and selves have swept away The air we breathe, though seldom given thought Can alter much of what ill health has wrought A rise of ten percent in air pollution Increases the risk of harm, so the solution is clean the air of particles and gases to save our minds I teach this in my classes The filters pure and trees to clean the air The risk abates, we heal from disrepair So let us breathe in cleaner breaths each day and vote for laws that keep the smog away As years go by, our minds begin to fray Our memories and selves are swept away The air we breathe, the seldom given thought Can alter much of what ill health has wrought a rise of 10% in air pollution Increases the risk of harm, so the solution Is clean the air of particles and gases To save our minds I teach Take care and I'll see you in the next video.